This past year, I've been the most depressed I've ever been. Due to the disease that I have, I've been thinking about the idea of death a lot, and I feel like I haven't really been living life. If you are curious about what I'm talking about, I made a video about a year ago where I talk more in detail about the disease that I have. But this is the main reason why there's a four month gap between my Bleach video and 13 Sentinels video. I'm in a much better and happier place now, so you don't need to worry about me. And that's why you've been seeing videos more regularly and without like the huge month gap in between. But one thing that has helped a lot with my depression and changed my view on life is the anime ZOM 100 Bucket List of the Dead. As strange as that may sound, this anime has genuinely had a huge impact on my life. So what exactly about this anime has had such a big effect on me? Well, that's what I wanted to talk about in this video. So first off, the plot, for anyone who hasn't seen it. ZOM 100 is about Akira Tendo, who after getting his dream job, realizes it's not as great as he thought it would be. He's abused for years and is forced to work long hours every day. Eventually, his life is absolutely miserable. And then, the zombie apocalypse happens. Even though the world is ending, Akira is finally free and is now able to do everything he's ever wanted to do. So he decides to make a bucket list of 100 things he's always wanted to do in life. It's a pretty positive take on a zombie apocalypse. Yes, some terrible things do still happen to people in the anime, but Akira is really positive throughout and is trying to do all he can anyways. He might come off as annoying with just how positive he is in this awful situation, but him being so stupidly positive is infectious, and it leads to the people around him to also try to live life to the fullest. For example, in one of the earlier episodes, we are introduced to Akira's best friend, Kencho, who is really surprised at how positive Akira is, given the world-ending situation. But by the end of the episode, he also learns to look on the bright side, and decides to follow his dream of being a comedian, even though the world is ending. Again, it's a pretty positive twist on the zombie survival genre. Typically, in zombie movies, games, or shows, it's very dark and focuses on people surviving just to survive. But in ZOM 100, Akira is surviving to live. He's trying to do everything he's always wanted to do, even in this horrible world-ending situation. Another character who's pretty much the opposite of Akira is Shizuka. She's focused on surviving as long as possible, planning out what meals she needs to eat and what exercises to do every day to stay in peak physical condition to increase her chances of survival as long as possible, even if it makes life not very fun. And slowly but surely, Akira's ridiculously positive mindset starts to have an effect on her too. I won't go into spoilers, but Shizuka ends up becoming one of my favorite characters in the series. There is another character who I really like, but they don't get introduced until like six episodes in, so I'm not going to talk about them, but if you've seen the show, you probably know who I'm talking about, and they're great. Also, this isn't really important whatsoever, but real quick, I want to say how much I love the opening song. It's a really good song that's really fun, and it fits the anime really well. I like how in the later version of the song, all the characters are singing and dancing with the zombies. Uh, again, it's just a really good and fun song, and I felt like I had to mention it because it's just so good. So another thing I really like about ZOM 100 is how colorful they make the blood. This might seem like a really weird point to bring up, but the zombie's blood is a bunch of different colors, and it makes the series feel a lot less serious, which is good because it's supposed to be a fun take on zombies. It's not always super colorful, there are some scenes where characters bleed, and it looks like real blood, and I feel like that makes certain emotional scenes hit harder, since blood is usually really colorful in this anime. Now I know that the zombies have colorful blood, I think all the time, even on those super serious scenes, but it's when a human bleeds or dies, it's red. But still, mostly seeing colorful blood makes certain scenes feel a lot more serious when someone gets bitten or is bleeding real blood, because you don't normally see that. And the show is pretty upbeat most of the time, so when there's a serious scene, it hits harder, and I feel like the blood being red from the humans dying makes it feel a lot more serious. 
Now, maybe I'm reading way too much into the blood color, and I feel like I spent a bit too much time talking about it already, but I feel like this helps represent the way Akira views the world. Akira knows how horrible of a situation the world is in. While he may not show it, he's fully aware and realizes how many people have died. But he continues on anyways and is still pretty positive and still tries to do what he wants to do. There are some scenes where people die and it's bloody. The zombies have colorful, fun blood colors, but if someone dies, it's very real. They are a real person who can't follow their dreams anymore, like Akira. And he knows that. Akira is a really interesting protagonist. Earlier, I said how his positivity is infectious. Well, it's infected me too. By the way, that was not supposed to be a zombie joke. The past year, I've been in a bad place and haven't really been living. But after watching Zom 100, I decided to make my own bucket list and fill it with 100 things I've always wanted to do. I even bought a similar notebook to the one Akira has. Might be the same one that he has, I'm not entirely sure. I don't have a whole lot written down in it so far, but I've already done some of the things on it, like get a tattoo or learn how to solve a Rubik's Cube. While these might be really simple things, they're things I've always wanted to do. Look, life can suck. It's just how life is sometimes. Whether you're working a terrible, abusive job, or have a terrible disease, or just aren't happy, I think it's important to live anyways and do the things you've always wanted to do. At least that's what this anime has taught me. Instead of being depressed all the time while life passes me by, I want to try to do all the things I've ever wanted to do while I still can. Some days are still gonna suck, but it's important to push through days like that. And if you could take one thing away from watching this video, it would be to do that thing you've been putting off. Do one thing you've always wanted to do. Whether it's as simple as trying a food you've always wanted to try, or following your dream and doing what you most want to do in life, you should, because life is gonna keep going no matter what, and we might as well have fun while we're still here. Thanks for watching.